So it was the 2023 paper and it was question 17. So you can see here, question 17, you were given a trial balance, okay? And then you were given the template for a uh, trade and profit and loss and a balance sheet, also known as an income statement and a statement of financial position. So the income statement, we have all incomes, and expenses okay so that's what we have in the income statement and in the statement of financial position we have all assets and liabilities as at the end of the year so the purpose of the statement or the income statement is to show did we make a profit or did we make a loss from carrying out our business activities and then the statement of financial position we just know where we're at what is what does the business own what does the business owe where has all the money come from etc okay so we'll take a look now at the trial balance so the trial balance is just the list of balances at the end of the year okay so the following trial balance was taken from the books of coupon echo limited on the 31st the 12th 2022 the end of its financial year the authorized share capital is 600,000 one euro shares one euro ordinary shares so this is what we are allowed so what we are allowed to sell up to okay so what we are allowed to sell up to so we've got here we have the trial balance we've got the list of all the balances where are they going to go so we have to decide are they expenses and income so i'll just write this up here again okay so in the income statement we have expenses and we have incomes and then in the statement of financial position we have assets and liabilities so at this stage we'll just um we'll just say where is each meant to go so sales is going to go into the income statement purchases is the income statement carriage inwards that is the cost of transferring the goods into us that's the income statement stock opening stock that's going to be in the income statement insurance is an expense that's income statement, as is advertising wages and light and heat. Okay, for, so the first few there were the income statement. Now, they already have from sales down as far as gross profit already done. So we've already used these figures here. Okay, they've had that already in the template. You do not need to use them again, but we will have to be entering the insurance, advertising wages and light and heat. Okay, next then we have buildings. So buildings is an asset, so that goes into the statement of financial position. Equipment is an asset, so that'll go into the statement of financial position. Cash is an asset, statement of financial position again. Then we have dividends paid. So dividends paid is the money, part of the profits that we have paid to the shareholders. Okay, so dividends paid, that's going to go into the income statement. We're going to take that away from the net profit figure. So part of the profits that are paid to shareholders is called dividends. Debtors, they are the people who we sell goods to on credit. That means buy now, pay later. So we have given them the goods now and they are going to pay us later. All right. So debtors is an asset. So current assets going to go into statement of financial position. Creditors then as well, that is a liability because they are um they are the people that we owe money to. All right. So we owe money to them because they have sold us goods on credit. So buy now, pay later. Bank overdraft, that is a liability. A bank overdraft means that your bank has allowed you to take out more money than what is actually in your account. Now they will be charging you interest on that. So they're not doing it because they're very nice. They're doing it to, to get the interest. So statement of financial position as it is a liability. Profit and loss balance from the start of the year. So that means at the very start of the year, there is um, profit that was left over from last year. We are going to have that in the income statement. So we're going to be adding that to the profit that we've made this year. 
and then that is going to be our reserves figure. Last figure there is the issued share capital. So we saw up above that we have authorised share capital. That is the amount of shares we are allowed to sell up to. Issued share capital are the shares that we actually have sold. So the information there, the following information is also provided. So we've got closing stock, 31st to 12th, 25,000 euro. We've got depreciation on buildings, 2% and equipment, 20%. So the closing stock is going to go into both the income statement and the statement of financial position. And you, you'll see when we when we do the accounts and then depreciation will also have to go into the income statement for the depreciation for the year but then we'll have to show it in the statement of financial position as well so that we can find out how much our assets are worth at the end of the year okay so as you saw we already had um the start of the income statement complete so you had your sales less cost of sales opening stock plus purchases plus carriage inwards minus closing stock that is equal to the cost of sales which we take away from the sales and they got a gross profit figure there of 149600 now your next heading then we'll have less expenses so we are going to write out all of the expenses and list them out so we had income statement uh, expenses we had insurance advertising wages and light and heat here and that was all of the expenses uh, from the income statement but then we're going to have our depreciation on our buildings and our equipment so we'll work that out now in a second but so we'll start listing them out so we've got insurance 6,600 we have advertising 42,400 we have wages 52,000 and we have light and heat 15,000 now, in addition to that, then we'll have the depreciation on the buildings. So the buildings are worth 274,000, which we can see up here. We're told to depreciate them at 2%. So if we put into our calculator 274,000 multiplied by 0 0.02 or multiply it by 2 and find the percent button, that will give us 5480, which we will put into our depreciation buildings. Then we have to work out our equipment figure. So we've got 92,800 is our equipment and then we'll multiply that by 20%. So 92,800 multiplied by 20% is 18,560. So when we tot all of them up, that gives us 140,040 euro. That is all of our expenses. So we will take all of those expenses. I just have brackets around that because that just signifies I'm going to minus. So when we take all those expenses away from the gross profit, we get a net profit of 9560. Now, of that net profit, we are going to give our shareholders some money and our shareholders figure is going to be 9,200 so that is the dividends paid there so we pay part of the profit to shareholders the name of that is dividends so the shareholders were quite lucky here they got the majority of the profit um so that was very generous of coupon echo limited but anyway there was 360 euro uh, left okay now at the start of the year we had a P&L balance of 48,000 thank god because we didn't make much of a profit there this year but we add that to the 360 and that then is our P&L balance at the end of the year 48,360 euro now then we have to do our statement of financial position so just remember our income statement here that is all of our incomes and expenses during the year then our statement of financial position we are going to have all of our assets and liabilities okay the first half of this is going to be all of my assets all right i'm going to have fixed assets first which is going to be longer than one year i'm going to have current assets then that would be less than one year then we'll have our current liabilities but the fancy name on it now is creditors minus one year so amounts falling due within one year so that is our liabilities. So assets are the, the things that the business owns 
whereas liabilities are the things that the business owes. So you've got short term liabilities and then you've got finance buy. So finance buy is how are all how is this business financed? Where has it got all of its money from? OK, so we're going to just get stuck into this now and we'll just get that done. I'll explain all of that along the way again. OK, so we have fixed assets. So as I said to you, they're the ones that will last longer than a year. OK, so they're probably the more expensive assets that they would have. So it would be likely that they will bring benefit to the company for well longer than one year. So you have your buildings 274,000 but we have to remember that we had depreciation on them during the year so they're not worth 274,000 anymore so it's going to be 274,000 minus 5,480 is equal to 268,520. Then we'll have the equipment so the equipment 92,800 minus the 18,560 that'll give us a net book value of 74,240. We taught all of our fixed assets up 274 and 92,800 and that gives us 366,800 for the cost of the fixed assets. Then the total depreciation is 24,040 and then the net book value 342,760. Next then we have the current assets. So they are the assets that are likely to last us less than one year. So you can see here we've got cash <clears throat> so cash hasn't been ticked off yet so cash is a current asset something that we own and it's very likely it will change within the year so 21,600 then we have debtors so debtors are brilliant debtors are deadly as I say because they owe us money okay so it's brilliant they're an asset they owe us and then you also have closing stock from the bottom of the question so 25,000 closing stock when you add all them together, you get 66,600 euro. Then we have creditors, amounts falling due within one year. So they are liabilities. Okay, so here are our assets, the things that we own. And here are our liabilities. The things that we owe. So the business owes them. Okay, so who are the liabilities that we owe within the next year? So that heading is very important there. Creditors, amounts falling due within one year. So we owe, as you can see from all the ticks, it's very easy when you have been ticking as you go along, it's very easy to see what you have left. So you've got the creditors there, 14,000, and you have the bank overdraft. So the bank overdraft is the money that you owe to the bank. So that is 21,000 there. So 66,600 euro current assets minus the 21,000 euro current liabilities is going to give us a working capital of 45,600. So the working capital is your current assets minus your current liabilities, also known as your creditors amounts falling due within one year. The working capital is the day-to-day -day money that you have for the running of the business. It's very, very, very important that a business has good working capital. What we do then is we add that to our 342,760 and we get then total net assets 388360. Now, finance buy is next, all right? And these are our long term liabilities. So they are going to be, you know, it's going to take us way longer than a year. We're going to have them for way longer than a year. So we, the business owes them back out. So, What's a finance buy? It is financed by, you've got 600,000 ordinary, or sorry, ordinary shares, which are authorised. So that means they are allowed to sell up to this amount, but they only have issued 340,000. If Coupon Echo Limited wanted to raise more money, they could sell 260 of the remaining, 260,000 of the remaining shares, which is 260,000 euro. Now, what else do they have? They also have their profit and loss balance of 48,360. When we add those together, that is 388,360. And these should equal your total net assets 
and your capital employed should equal. If they have not equaled, if they have not balanced, you're not correct, right? And you've made a mistake somewhere. But capital employed, very important term there, that's basically all of the capital that has been pumped into this business. So that is the statement of financial position for the 2023 question complete there. So that is it. That's them two together, the income statement and the statement of financial position. And that's it.